Hello and welcome to today's um, free mini class with me. Um, we are almost at the end of our two weeks of free classes, so we hope you guys have been having fun and you've been tuning in. Um, today's free class is going to be a mini exotic folk choreo. And so heels are great, knee pads definitely great. Um, if you don't have solos or heels, you don't like dancing in them, barefoot is no problem. Just put on some socks so you can kind of slip the slide a little bit. Um, other than that, keep yourself a little bit warm. We're going to do just a quick few movements, but I'm already really warm, so hopefully you are prepped for this class and you're ready to go. And I do like to preface, I have to like walk away really quick. My daughter's snapping and she might wake up, so we're going to be like quiet. There's not a lot of heel clocking today. Sorry, but you can add heel clocks if you want to. So if you are ready, you're joined in. We're going to start with the feet wide and just a nice, easy, gentle rock side to side. And you might want to throw on some tunes, um, something that makes you feel good and groovy if you don't already have something on. Good. Now we're going to isolate the pelvis and roll into little hip circles. So push the pelvis forward, bring it back. Take your hands to your hips or you can have some fun with the hands kind of around your in or out. Whatever feels good to you. Yes. Good. Now bring it to the shoulders. We're going to roll one shoulder back and then the other. Mm -hmm. Get those shoulders ready to work and take those shoulders high. Fantastic. Ooh. Four, three, two, and one. Take your hands. Roll those big wrists, kind of like you're swooping up inside of a box. Arms, shoulders, and wrists are super important to warm up for pentas. Even if you're just doing some low flow choreo, scoop your hands the other way. So we want to make sure we are ready to use our strongest assets to dance and groove. Good. Now pretend like you have water on your fingertips, look away. Nice and hard. Four, three, two, one. Make strong fists with your hands, and we're going to roll at the elbows. So try and keep the arms parallel to the floor, so we're not dropping the arms here. We're doing elbow circles. Yeah, and then try and take those shoulders and roll them down the back, so you have a nice long neck. Roll those elbows down. Keep those fists really strong. Four, three, two, and one. Shake all that out. All right, step behind your pole, just for some extra balance here. Bring your feet in relatively close. We're going to roll onto our toe rockers and then back to the heels. Toe rockers and heels. So make sure when you go onto those toe rockers, you're pressing up and squeezing the butt. If you're looking for some cool little tips to get better at um, your heel work, I had a quick reel that I did. Uh, last week, and it was just some equal strengthening tips that you can do with heels on. Just a couple, there's a bazillion that you could do, but those are just a few on my face. Good. All right, stay your weight on one foot and roll the other ankle. Keep it ready. And roll it the other way. Like I said, I'm already warm. I hope you guys got your warm up, let's switch feet, but just in case you didn't, there's a little bit, and then I would suggest continuing to warm up as you kind of watch the first part of the choreo. All right, so we're going to face the pole. I want you to stand up straight and then lean the chest in, roll the pelvis in, bring the shoulders back, bring the ribs back, bring the tailbone back. Pull the chest in, ribs, belly button, and shoulders. Big body rolls. Now you can keep your weight planted firmly in the feet. Or if you want to, you can start going on the toe rockers a little bit, making this guy. Bigger. Ooh, the core nice and warm. Now we're gonna reverse direction, so hold it at the back. We're gonna go pull this belly button, chest and head, stick your booty back, scoop it under. Good, so there's a nice level change in any body weight that we do. Do do, like we do wanna hit that spine. Mobile, and get everything warm, one more. Excellent, and shake it out, okay. Bend, move, stretch, do what you need to do. Active dynamic stretching, of course. That's that extra sheet if you need a little bit more of a warm up, but we will jump right into today's video. Hi, Ellie. Come up here, sweetie. Okay. Will you bring your iPad up here? Please? No. She said no. All right, so we're going to start our choreo with our inside leg forward, okay? And you can hold right behind the tailbone, and we're going to open the front of the ribs out, right? Now we're going to start just about halfway here. 
and give me a head flip, a look over the shoulder, roll the shoulders back, slide your back hand up the pole, keep the weight on the front leg, and then we're going to go into a little lift and a little down. Step the foot down, roll yourself off as you do so, that back hand is going to sneak to the front of the pole, pinky first, and we're going to take a big step away with the right foot. And then we'll have just a few little hip movements here, and a look over the outside shoulder. Now you're going to keep the weight on the inside leg, begin to drag the back leg, so that's going to soften this knee, I'm going to pivot on the toe rocker to drag this leg through, and I'm going to lift my front hip, slide it down, and slide it up. Daddy, you want to work, sweetie? Heel clock, heel clock. Yeah, let's try that from the top. So we're here. We're going to start halfway down. We're going to give me a little head flip. Come up tall, weight in here. Give me a little sassy leg. Bring your hands up. Switch the back hand. Step the back foot down. Peel off. Big step with the outside leg. So I'm a little sexy hips here. Whatever feels good to you. Look over the outside shoulder. Soften into the inside leg. Outside leg is going to sweep, sweep, sweep. Present your little headlights. So I'm spiking this hip up, and I'm rotating to the inside of my other foot. Slide down, and then a hair flip as you come up. Yeah? So then from here, we're going to go hip clock, hip clock. Okay? My daughter's late, so we can do that now. Right? And then we're going to take our hand on the pole, bring it in front with a little like serving tray, letter L, and we're going to open away from the pole into a little pivot. Okay. Now, really important for that movement is to make sure the weight is on the inside or the outside leg, and we're going to kind of keep the right inside leg dragging. So, do 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 here. I want the weight to stay on that leg the whole time. Okay. So, did this guy down up? We did a step clack. Right. Switch the hand. Rotate under. Look where you want to go, and then right here. As we begin to finish the rotation, but not before or after you finish it, your back hand is going to scoop underneath for a forearm funny grip. So keep this arm relatively low, about chest grip height. Front of the forearm comes to the pole, and your palm comes to the pole so that your knuckles are facing forward. You can do this kind of grip, buddy grip, whatever works for you here. Other hand comes into your standard baseball grip. We're going to do a pancake variation, more like a step around and land behind the pole, feet together. We'll look a little something like this. I'm finishing, I scoop. I'm gonna launch from the outside leg, down, down to here, with your legs close together. Yeah? One second. Live TV, guys. Ellie, come upstairs. Okay, you wanna watch my iPad? Yeah, you can watch my iPad. Ellie. I'm teaching a class. My water's right here, you want it? Live TV, my friends. You can watch on the iPad if you want to. Yeah? Are you going to help teach class? Okay, it's right there. Okay, so jump back into it. Do, 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 do. We started from the beginning, right? Let's do that. So we're here. Hip flip up. Hand comes behind. Keep the weight in the front leg. A little hand switch, right? Flip the back hand, step the back leg down, peel off, big step to here. Move the hips, flip over the outside shoulder. We're going to slide and pivot in, softening the inside leg, present the bottom of your hip. Slide down, down, down. Dramatic hair flip up, two flats, boom, boom. Switch the inside hand. Right here, we're going to roll and switch, and then go into our little pancake-ish variation. Groovy? Yes. All right, and Coach Holt is here too, so if you guys have been tuning into classes, you probably see both of them at some point. All right, so let's continue adding on. Once we land, we am gonna land with the feet close together, they could be like this. I like to have one like cross in front of the other, that's just my personal style. Now we're gonna go into a split grip type of move. So a couple ways you can do this. If you don't feel comfortable split grip, you're just going to go to your stronghold grip. That's fine. Okay. You can do one arm high, other hand, point your finger down, lifting with the shoulder down and back, 
That's what lifts the chest. Bottom hand pushes you away. Okay? You can also do a forearm split grip. A lot of split grips there. Stick with the one that you know. Don't try and do something completely new today if you're not really comfortable with those. So here, here, or here, whichever you want. We are going to hold our weight for just the briefest moment. Tuck both heels to your butt, but I want your heels to go towards the opposite butt cheeks. Okay, that's really important. So go up, opposite butt cheeks. After that, we're going to curly cue the feet open, and then come into a wide stance. Yeah? Let's try that again. We just finished our spin. We are here. We can have a moment if you want to. Hand, hand. Heels to opposite hips. Open, down. Awesome. Now, we want the feet really, really wide when we land here. And if you can turn the toes out slightly, that's great. Yes, sweetie. Yes, Okay. That's weird. There we go. She was watching some guys like me and dirt. Oh, I do Okay. Where were we? We landed here. All right. Now, those toes turn slightly out. We are going to pop our hip to one side. We're going to do a little half scoop down to a low squat position coming into here. If you don't like that, you can do like a straight pop down. That's fine too. Um, biggest thing is I want to try and avoid this look. Right? I don't think that looks very sexy. It looks like a pop and squat. Right? Do this thing. Hands to the pole or two hands to the pole. Totally fine. So we're going to come down to here. Okay? And then you're going to come all the way up. Okay? Or you can go straight down. That's fine. So after you do that big hip circle, then we're going to sit into one leg. I'm sitting into my right leg. I'm going to sit over and start turning my knee towards the pole. This leg's still kind of dragging. There's not really any weight in it. I'm going to take my outside hand, low, look behind me, and I'm going to pivot in place as I bring the other foot in. Ooh, what happened? Think of it like a big step, okay? See how I get the feet in place before I finish rotating the torso? That can be a really helpful way to do this move. So, one more time. We did a row curl of legs. We went down, we went up, sit down, scoop the other hand underneath or low, pivot, establish the feet, finish rotating. All right, now we're going to use the momentum from that pivot to pivot on this leg, outside leg, and we want to end up behind the pole. So I'm going to grab inside hand high, outside hand low, do a little slide, choo -choo, and then I want to end with my back leg in front in a demi lunge position. So what the hell just happened? Let's try that from the top, nice and slow. We just finished our spin, right? We ended up here. Slight grip, heels to butt, open out. Scoop it low and up. Scoop low, stay low. Take this hand down, turn, place the feet, finish rotating. Pivot down onto this knee and pull yourself to the back of the pole. So we're using that pole a little bit. Pretty groovy? All right. Let's try from the top. I see how far we get today. I don't have sexy music on anymore. I have cartoons. <laughs> um, all right. So we're starting position. We're here. Flip. Take the hands up. One little sexy leg. Down. Switch the grip of the back hand. Step out. Big step. Hips, hips, hips. Okay, look over the outside shoulder, drag and grab. Leg comes in front, hike the hip up, a little stop and stretch. Down, two, flat, one, two, scoop again, re grab. Here's our fan kick from the funny grip. Land, hands in position, heels to butt, open out. Big scoop up and down, scoop it down. Grab, sweep, step, open, around. Hey! Into a demi lunge. Pretty groovy? Yeah, you can help? No. I love you. I'm getting stink out right now. I'm an interesting guy. Okay, so let's continue adding on. I have a little bit more love to go. We're here. We're going to take the inside hand. It's going to go low to the ground. Other hand's going to come like right above rib level to the pole. 
I'm going to shift the weight into the outside foot by pushing onto the toe rocker, pull the bottom knee through, and then I'm going to send the knee at an angle in front of me, lengthening the leg, coming down into a straddle position. And we're going to open to our straddle here. We're going to push the foot into the way of our other foot, kick it away as we rotate the knee, and then come down for a little curly cue here. Okay. So come back to this guy. We just finished our two pirouettes on the floor. We're going to come back, slide through, down to the hips, curly cue. You can add a little heel pop there if you want. Pull both heels to your butt. We're going to push with the bottom forearm and hand. We're going to pull with the top arm, and then we're going to open our outside leg away from us a little bit so we can come into a leg kneeling position. Add in a head roll here, hair flip, and then from here we're going to reach forward. You're going to push your hips to one side at the same time, knees come together, hips drop scoop to the other way, and then you're going to come back. Okay? I will take I know. Floor where it means doggy time. So we ended up here. Excuse me, Mr. Man. I'll hold this right here. Right there. Hold this whole thing. Sit. Right here. Head flip and scoop, little circle. And then when you push back, you want the whole leg, side closest to leg, to open back so you end up lateral and facing your pole. Let's try that again with all the distractions. <laughs> So we're here, we're open, open, scoop, low, push, open, head roll, forward, knees together, hip circle, push the back leg back. Yeah. All right, we're going to add a get up from here. Two ways you can do this. One, you can stay low, little bracket grip, slide the legs in. Option two. You can kick the feet back, slide on the toe rockers, push and lift the butt, and then slide in. Other way that you choose, you're going to do a little sexy up from there. Yeah? All right, so let's walk through. We just finished our bracket little firearm grip spin. We landed here. We're going to do the curly cues open to our squat. And hand, heels open, circle down and up. Circle down again, scoop low, sweep, turn, keep sweeping, turn in that lunge. Hand down, hand switch, open, open, curly cue, slide the feet, push away, head roll, slide forward, knees together, we scoop, other way, up, keep your little sexy up, toe slides, to. Standing! Woo! All right, guys. So we're going to end it there today. Let's walk through it from the top, and then you can start putting this together with some music. So we're here, starting position, wherever you want to be. Little head flip up. Good. Bring that hand up high. A little knee scoop. Step it down. Switch the top hand. Come on out. Hip movements. Look over the right shoulder. Pivot in. Present the leg. Down, 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 big stocking stretch, two o'clocks, one, two, grab, turn, re-grab, spin, grab, grab, curly cue, big hip roll, and big outside sit, pivot to turn, pivot again, little lunge, slide down, open, open, curly cue, slide, Open, hair flip, hands in front, booty scoop, push the back leg back, come on up, booty up, slide in, and bring it up to standing. Woo, good work, guys. We might have time for a little bit more. You guys want more? I think we do. Okay, so once we get all the way up to standing, we're going to take a moment and do some body waves. So we should do a lot of movement there. And then after the body waves, we're going to go into a backspin variation. Now this backspin variation is going to be legs open, legs in a like stag, you know, that little choo -choo -choo kind of position. And you're going to be leading with the other leg. So I'm going to rotate clockwise, 
So that means my right leg and right knee are going to lead into the spin. I'm going to pivot on the other foot. Same side as the leading knee. That's the high hand. Other hand low. I'm going to look over my right shoulder because that's the direction I'm rotating to. Right here as I lean back. I'm going to really open the legs and then the other leg just kind of trails behind. Now, when you start to rotate a little faster, you give a little oof push off the base leg, and that will help you rotate around the pole. So, body weight, body weight, we just stood up, look open to here, bring both legs together, a little sexy sit, open up, and body wave down, and a little pose. We'll end it now. Yeah? Let's try that part again. So, we just did our scoop, the sexy up, body weights one and two, maybe three. When you're ready, pivot, lean and look away, big step, slide the feet together, a little sideways sit, take a position here, hips go up, slide down, 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 legs come down, and then you're set up for some more floor work. Woo! All right, guys. We're packing a lot into 25 minutes here, 30 minutes, okay? We're gonna go through this one more time with me. Remember that these videos are archived for replay on Instagram and YouTube, so you can always find those links, bookmark them, save them, share them, so you can practice some more right after this, maybe a little later when you have some more time, and definitely start putting it to music. So, here we go. We're not gonna go super fast, but a little bit more at speed. So, starting position here, lift the hair, push up, little pose. Step, re-grab, open hips, hips, look, slide, down, present the hip, here, two blocks, one, two, turn, re-grab, little step around spin. Grab, grab, curly, cute. Scoop it low and all the way up. Scoop it low, re-grab, sweep the feet, torso follows, all the way to lunge. Sliding through, leg up, curly, cute. Slide to kneeling, head flip, little booty scoop, push open, and slide, booty up, Slide up, right into body waves, big or small. Look over the outside shoulder, rotate into that side spin. Slide in, little sexy sit, hips go up, and then we're going to do you sexy down and finish right here. All right, woo, I worked up a little sweat. Hopefully you guys did too. Um, so like I said, Bookmark this video, save the video, so you can practice it later. Like, comment, subscribe, follow. Let me know what your favorite parts were. If you have any parts that you weren't sure about, you can always hit me up on my DMs on Instagram. I'm at WholeFitFox on most of the social media channels. And this was day 12, 13, we're almost done with my 14 days of free classes. So, big announcement coming this week so you've been enjoying content like this you're going to want to tune in you're going to want to hear what's going to be up and running really soon all right um thank you guys again for watching for subscribing for all of your support if you like the video share it with your friends tag them tell them they need to try this too and i want to see your results so if you do the little choreo you like it and you put it to some music tag me let me know because i want to see it yes all right guys thanks again for tuning in